Rack's Roast Beef is a regional fast food restaurant chain that opened in 1967. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest videos. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to a regular scheduled program. Hello, I'm Mr. Delicious, the new spokesman for Rack's Restaurants. My job? To encourage you to enjoy tasty, affordable meals in a more mature dining environment. I know what you're thinking. He's a cartoon. And cartoons are mostly for people who wet their pants. But not Mr. D. He's a special cartoon for adults. And Mr. Delicious always carries this briefcase. Contents? Watch for me and visit Rack's. Dickity D. Rack's, was originally known as Jack's Roast Beef, was founded by Jack Roshman in 1967 in Springfield, Ohio. Upon graduating from college, Jack started his career as a salesman for Marathon Oil, but he always wanted to be in the fast food business. While working at Marathon Oil, Jack tried to get Ray Kroc to sell him the exclusive rights to operate McDonald's in Ohio, but Jack was only 25 and Ray thought he was just too young. After Ray turned him down, Roshman worked with General Equipment to create what would become Burger Chef restaurant chain. Jack marketed the Burger Chef franchises around the country. Due to this dedication, he was able to secure the exclusive right to develop Burger Chef restaurants in the state of Ohio, West Pennsylvania, and West West Virginia. While he was developing Burger Chef restaurants in the state of Ohio, he also founded a new chain which he named Jack's Roast Beef Chain in Springfield, Ohio. Jack's passion for developing new ideas caused him to sell the Burger Chef and Jack's roast beef chain to General Foods. In 1969, General Foods changed the name of the restaurants to Rick's Roast Beef. General Foods would later run the chain until 1978, when most of the restaurants had already closed. The remaining 10 units were franchise units owned by the Restaurant Administration Corporation, RAC, headed by J. Patrick Ross, a franchisee of multiple restaurant chains including Wendy's, Ponderosa Steakhouse, and Long John Silver's. RAC purchased the remainder of Rick's from General Foods and returned the Jack's name to the restaurants. RAC eventually decided to focus on the roast beef business and began franchising the chain. The Jack's restaurants were renamed Racks to be more suitable for trademarking and franchising, with the first Racks branded franchise restaurant opening in Columbus, Ohio. Rack was renamed Racks Systems Inc. and then again to Racks Restaurants Inc. in 1982. By 1982, Racks had grown to over 221 restaurants in 25 states. The menu, up until the 1980s, was pretty simple at its core. You could get roast beef sandwiches, salad at the salad bar, soft drinks, fries, and baked potatoes. By 1984, there were 300 locations. At its peak in the 1980s, the Racks chain had grown to 504 locations in 38 states, along with two restaurants in Guatemala. In 1988, the company decided to reduce the size of its money-losing salad and food bars to help reduce expenses and refocus on sandwiches. But things started changing, and there wasn't a clear reason. Racks started tweaking their menu, first adding baked potatoes, a harmless enough addition, and then they added pizza, a pasta bar, Chinese food, a taco bar, endless salad bar, and a dessert bar.
Around this same time, they started massively overhauling the restaurant architecture, most of which was built within the last decade. It did not need to be renovated at all. They did expensive renovations, including adding solariums and wood elements. Based on the look and feel, as well as that extensive menu, Rax's sounded like they wanted to be a lot like Sizzler, except maybe a fast food version of them. The idea was to basically make Rax a fancy place to eat, while still advertising their foods in expensiveness and the large serving size, neither of which are really associated with fanciness. Compounding the decline was a management buyout of the company in 1991 and numerous changes that occurred on the company board. The company attempted to convert underperforming outlets by forming joint ventures with Miami Subs and Red Burrito. It's kind of like when Carl's Jr. and Green Burrito paired up. Or maybe, I don't even know what to call this. By August of 1992, the chain had faded into obscurity. Enter Mr. Delicious. As you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson. Anderson, Mr. Anderson. Not Mr. Anderson, Mr. Delicious. Mr. Delicious is a middle-aged, crudely drawn, sad sack cartoon drawing, an anti-spokesman, if you will. Hello there, I'm Mr. Delicious. Did you know the value menu at Racks features lots of adult-sized delectables for only 99 cents? That's right, and that's fortunate. You see, Mr. Delicious is, well, a little overextended. Perhaps the Racks executives aren't paying him enough to compromise his integrity. On the other hand, you can't eat integrity but you certainly can eat a hearty roast beef sandwich for 99 cents. Tickety-D. Unless you think this is some high concept comedy, you must realize that Mr. Licious delivers all his lines in an incredibly low energy, way devoid of any joy, sarcasm, or variations in pitch. In short, it's overwhelmingly sad. So what did corporate do after this marketing campaign? Well, three months after the Mr. Delicious campaign began, Rax Restaurants Inc. filed for bankruptcy. In 1994, Rax Restaurants Inc. merged with North Carolina-based franchise Enterprises Inc., renaming the company Heartland Food Systems Inc. and becoming a Hardee's franchisee. Heartland planned to convert all Rack's restaurants into Hardee's by 1997. However, by 1996, the difficulty of converting Rack's restaurants to Hardee's placed too much pressure on Heartland, and they were forced to once again file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. As part of the turnaround plan, the company sold the Hardee's units it owned that were not originally Rack's stores and changed the company's name back to Rack's Restaurants, Inc. By 1999, the chain had dropped to 150 franchises with 450 locations. The company was planning a revival for the Rax concept, including a new simpler menu, a new store prototype, and a new logo and color scheme. However, in November of 1996, Wendy's International made an offer to purchase 37 Rax restaurants, intending to convert most of them to Tim Hortons. This caused them change in strategy and a buyer was sought for the remaining company-owned restaurants. In July of 1997, the Rax brand was purchased by Cassidy & Associates. Rax also created its mascot, Uncle Alligator who was dominant in all kids' meals and toys, always involving some sort of sport or activity. In 2006, there were 26 locations remaining in Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. By 2015, there were 15 locations in Illinois, Kentucky, and Ohio, and West Virginia. 
The last racks in West Virginia closed in 2016. Today, there are only five locations left and they're all in Ohio. So what do you remember about this restaurant? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.